Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome to another full length, full hour Pilates class. Grab some yoga blocks today and we'll do a total body conditioning class focused on the core, your powerhouse. Let's start with just a nice stance. Spread your toes, anchor yourself down. As you ground down into the feet, lift up through the crown, circle the shoulders a few times, let them fall heavy, shake the arms. You can close the eyes here. As you engage the foundation, the legs, the quads, the core, just imagine you're growing taller here in your stance. It's a nice posture happening as you draw the shoulders back and down. Release any tension in the face, forehead, eyebrows, jaw, and tongue. Soften. Deep breath in. Big audible sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Maybe a smile. Deep breath in. And a big sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Let any stale air go, any negative energy, any tension in the body. Start to just kind of shake those arms out like you are twisting a bottle. Good. And then crisscross the arms a little bit. Right over left, left over right. Wrap the back. Give yourself a nice pat on the back. Good. Circle the shoulders back and forward. And then ground down again and then start to make little circles around the feet and notice how the core needs to turn on. You could try this with eyes closed too. So going to your toes, to the side of the feet, to the heels, and then reverse that direction. Just keeping the body stacked and neutral, but just rolling through the toes, side, heels, good. And then coming back to center. Pilates breath, again, we push the air out, so practice that a few times. Breath in through the nose, exhale, forced exhalation. In through the nose, forced exhalation. All right, maybe a quick circle on the neck. And then we'll get started with some leg work. We are going to pick up the blocks. So again, yoga blocks if you have them. And I know my hands are small and I can grip mine, so I think you can too. So we're going to try to grip the um, blocks with one hand on each block. And then the elbows will come in to the rib cage and we'll draw the tailbone under and squeeze the belly in. So all we're going to do is push the arms out draw them in, push them out, draw them in. Like you're serving out to the sides, someone's on either side of you and we're pushing through water for four. Here's three, here's two, and one. Let's balance on one foot, hip, uh, knee hip height, same arms for four, three. Just warming up, building heat, two, and one, switch the balance, knee, hip, height, elbows in, press away, feel the deltoids, the biceps, good, the core, hip flexor and quad, exhale, draw belly to spine, in and out, good, hug the elbows in and then just push the palms forward. Now come into a sumo or a plie and just start to bounce and pulse here for eight, seven, pick up those toes, Jet the knees out to the corners of the mat, shoulders over hips, belly plugging in. Now we're going to serve forward and back. Forward, so shoulder height right out in front of you for eight, seven, six, five, pulse it, four, arms in and out, three, oh, feeling this already, two, and hold it out for one. Pull those palms out again, sink a little deeper, pop a heel, and then the other heel. Here's six, five, high heel, stiletto, good. Here's four, three, don't let those arms fall, two, and one, hold it. All right, so this is a brain teaser and a shoulder exercise. We're gonna swim the elbow in and around, and then up, and over. Did you get that? Take the arm in internal rotation and then external rotation. Try to balance the block. If you have to grip it a little bit, that's okay. Sit deep in your plie. Internal rotation. Try to balance, not grab here. External rotation. 
taking the mind off the legs. <laughs> Internal, it's okay if you need to move your body around a little bit to get there. Let's try that with straighter legs. Bring the elbow out, palm in. Bring the weight, oh, I almost dropped it, around and in. All right, the, your weak side is gonna feel weirder. Internal rotation, and, and then whew, external rotation. Can we do this at the same time? We might drop our block, but we can try. Internal, and then oof, external. All right, maybe one more time. Take the block, wrap it in. Oh, I lost my weak hand, and then I'm gonna pull it around. Nice, pick that up. And then grip onto it the long way, so that we can just take a side body stretch. Tap the ground, drive it up. Side body, lean over, drive it up. Hitting those obliques, and you'll just bend the knees as much as you need to, to take it down there, drive it up. Weights in the heels, you can drop the head as well. Drop the head, and then shift, squeeze the core to drive up. If your hamstrings and your side body are quite open, maybe you don't need to bend the knees that much, especially if you're shorter, drop down, lift up. Slow drop, drive up, slow drop, and drive it up. Nice work. Let's do that in a balance. Abduct, tap the ground, drive it together. We're gonna try not to touch the ground. Side, scoop, balance. Side, abduct the leg, drop the hand down, and then slowly come back up. You can keep this connected, the block to the thigh. Tap down, Woo. drag it up two more times. Tap down, think of like a um, half moon pose in yoga. Hips, shoulders, ribs stack. Tap down, stay here. Just a little pulsing leg lift for eight, seven, Six, you can press the block into the leg for four, three, two, hold it up on one. Now pull the arms in opposition, squeeze everything, supporting leg, core is on, slowly drive back up. Other side, leg connects to the outer thigh, and then we take it down, balance. Try not to let that foot touch down, take it down, half moon shape, Scoop it in. Slowly tap the earth. Drive it in. And down. Obliques. Quad. Good. Feeling the hamstring, maybe the glutes and this outer thigh or adductors as you push out and open. We have four more to go. Slowly drive your balance. It's okay if you fall out and tap the floor. Three. Exhale to rise. Here's two, drive it up and hold it down. All right, so you can put a little weight in that leg, in that um, supporting hand, and then start to lift that outer thigh. You'll feel this. As you peel the hip to stack, pulse up. Eight, seven, maybe flatten the hand on the block. Six, five, four, three, two, belly to spine, one. Now grip the block. Pull in opposition, balancing half moon shape. Squeeze the arms and legs. Drive back to standing. Oh yeah. Shake out those legs. You can even slap them a little bit with the blocks. Feels pretty good. Big breath in and out. Turn your body so you have your um, width of your mat. We're gonna take some deadlifts here and you're still gripping onto those hand, uh, the blocks. So nice grip strength practice too. Take your left toes back. Tap the floor, drive it up, tap the floor, and try to balance and not touch the foot down if you can. Down, squeeze it up. So you're really working the right hamstring, glute, posterior chain, as well as the core. Down and up, a couple more times. Down, drive it in, down. All right, now we're gonna flip the blocks onto your palms. Elbows in, like again, you're serving a tray, and we're gonna take a single leg squat. You could have your heel down and shift the hips back and forth, 
or to make it more challenging on the left quad and hip flexor, you can take that leg into a hover for four, tap down, squeeze up for three, tap down, squeeze up for two. This one, maybe try to bring that foot up hip height. Pulse the leg up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake out the leg. Again, maybe a little tension, pat it out. Again, grip strength on the block. Shake out the right leg. And then the left leg plants down, right toes back. Deadlift or think of like a warrior three. Down, balance. Try not to touch the ground if you can. Exhale, squeeze it up. Flat back, tight belly, drive for balance. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, really on both sides. Everything's active here. Okay, we have four more. Here's three, you can flex or point, whatever feels more natural and helps you engage the leg all the way down. And one. Now, catch the weights like you're serving a tray. Hug the elbows in. Remember, you could take your single leg squat with your heel or toe down to start. And then as you progress, if it feels okay, come to a hover and control the single leg squat. Four, three, two. The last one, we try to bring the leg up hip height. Woo, too much momentum there. Hold it. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Feeling that. Whew. Again, maybe you kind of pat your legs a little bit. All right. We're going to come back to the plie. And this time, we're going to bring the palms over the head and pulse right here for eight, seven. Strong shoulders, slightly elevated, like you're trying to push your blocks to the ceiling for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down on one. Walk the feet in slightly so you can lift both heels. Let your legs shake, feel alive. Pulse it out, eight, seven, six, fight for it, five, four, three, two, yes, one. Let your legs shake. Sink a little deeper, hold it. <sighs> Isometric hold, three, two, one. Heels down, deep plie, drive into the legs. Whoo! Okay, long way down. We're gonna do a little brain teaser. We're gonna swing like monkey arm with the weights and we're gonna bounce. <sighs> All right, little brain teaser, pulsing here. Swinging the weight out. This is going to really bring the heart rate up for a little bit. <sighs> Swinging pulses. Hup, hup, hup. Good. Here's four, three. Fight for it. Two. Squeeze the booty. Hips forward. And one. Last set. Shake out those legs. <sighs> set the blocks down. Maybe even massage into the quad. Let's take a forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale. Swan dive. Let your back and head hang. Shake it out. Lose the weight of the world. Top of the head hangs heavy. Shake it out. Swivel the hips a little bit. Whatever feels good in your body, just do it. Ragdoll up and grab onto one. Again, getting into a little bit of a brain teaser. Um, so good for the brain, good for the body. Take your block into one hand. We're going to curtsy across and then switch. Curtsy, switch at the top, your grip. Curtsy, switch. We got it. So same leg and arm, switch. Flat back, come down maybe 45 degrees, bend both knees. Think of the knees in a plie, so they're going like 45 degree angles, making a diamond in the middle. Eight, seven, six, five, exhale, breathe. Four, 
three, two, stay here on one. All right, we're gonna take the block, balance it on the small of the back. You can't see it, but it's on the small of my back, balancing, and I'm pulsing here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, crown of the head forward, belly tight. Now, can you balance? Lift the front heel. I am shaking. Hold it and breathe through it. Sink a little deeper. Challenge your edge. Whew. Second class today, so my legs are fatigued fast. Good. Drop the front heel, pick up the block, and take a moment. Shake out those legs. Switch hands, hold here. Other leg, place the block at the small of your back. Make sure you have a nice, long, straight spine. Pulse here, both knees are bending in 45 degree angle for six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna pop my front heel and my legs are gonna start to shake right away and I'm gonna fight it out. Hold it, breathe, let them shake. Let them break down those cells and build back stronger for four, three, two, one. Lower down, grab the block. Okay, shake it out. If you need a sip of water, now's a good time. Deep breathing. Almost done here with the standing leg work. Okay, we're gonna finish this out. Whew, out of breath. Take your block and we're gonna halo it around the head, center. Around the head, center. Good, we did this with weights in my last class and we're just gonna do them with the weight of the block. All right, but now I'm gonna add a lunge. So as I swing around, I twist my lunge and I'm gonna halo and then twist my lunge. My block comes all the way to the back hip, yes? Halo. Twist to the back hip, halo, elbows tight around the head, back hip. So it's a nice, tight, controlled movement. <sighs> Exhale, halo, twist, <sighs> halo, make your crown and twist. On the last, on the next set, we'll hold our twisting lunge. Halo and hold your twisting lunge, pulse it, twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push it forward. All right, so my back foot's gonna passe and lunge. Passe, maybe to the block and lunge. Four, three, two, and one. All right, hold it. Now I'm gonna try to kick my back foot up. Four, three, two, one, come back, halo, rotate across, twisting pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, weight in front, hold, passe, lower down, maybe knee to block, lower down, four, three, two, one, hold it here. I'm gonna try and lift my front leg quite hard. Shift onto the back heel, four, three, catch a balance. Two, passe, knee to block, catch a balance. And one, bring it down and back to center. Whew. Set that block aside, hit a forward fold, or grab some water. Nice, you see we're getting some cardio in here. All the big muscle groups, the legs. And it's getting hot in here. Whew, okay, we're gonna move on. Keep a block by you, um, but we're gonna start with some plank walks. Tuck the chin, let your back, your head hang, and then come to the ground for your plank walk. So we haven't been on the hands. We're gonna start to spread the fingers, Grip down, find a perfect plank, push the shoulders in protection, like you're trying to puff up through the back of the heart. Tuck that tailbone under, firm the belly, firm the quads, shoulder tap, side plank. Down, switch. 
shoulder tap. So you'll notice all the muscles are already fired from all the work we've been doing, even though we haven't been on the hands. Shoulder, side plank, plank, drop hand. Shoulder, side plank, shoulder, drop down. Good, shoulder, side plank. Now hip dip, lift, and come back. This time we're gonna walk back. Circle the wrists as you ragdoll up. Releve, balance on the toes. Pull the arms back, but the shoulders, but the um, ribs down. And then round up. Walk it out. Now, left hand to right shoulder. Spin side plank. Dip hips. Push the shoulder down. Come back to plank. Take a walk backwards. Two more like that. Circle the wrists as you rag doll up. Inhale. Releve. Pull the shoulders back, but close the ribs down. And drop everything down. Walk it out. Find your perfect plank. Index finger forward. Wrap the crease of the elbows forward. Right hand to left shoulder. Open into side plank. Stay. Now, cross the legs are crossed. We're going to try to swing the legs up and down for four. Three. Hit your elbows. Two. Hit your elbow. Hold. Quite hard. Slow, controlled lower. We got to go back where we came from. Push into that bottom shoulder. Swing the hips up. Come back through single arm plank. Crawl back. Yeah? Red doll up. Releve balance. Whew. Balance. <laughs> Belly in. Ribs in. Shoulders stretching back. And then let everything ragdoll. Shake it up. Walk it up. Hit your perfect plank. Push the shoulders down. Tuck the tailbone. Left hand grabs right wrist. Rotate the hips. Slow landing. Turn towards your toes. They're in, in a beautiful crossed ankle position, right? Lift. Lower. Lift. If you need to bend the knees to make it easier, go for it. Try and bring your knees right to your elbow. And the last one we stay. Hold, slow lower, three, two, one, press into that shoulder, firmly under, wrist under shoulder, push down, peel hips up, spin to single arm plank, walk back, rag doll up, beautiful. Go ahead and grab that block one more time, not one more time, just grab the block. Take your palms out in front of you, we're going to do elevated squats. Press into it like you're trying to smash it. Releve. Squat. Lift. Drop heels. Heels up. Slow, oh, try not to lose the heels. Slow lower. Lift up. And heels down. Pull the belly in. Firm core. Strong shoulders. Smash the block. If you want to challenge your edges, maybe you come all the way to a toe stand and then up and then the heels land two more your depth high releve balancing chair it's okay if the legs are shaking fight it out maybe toe stand or halfway slowly rise land your heels last one lift slow controlled lower heels up high Squeeze, 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 and land. Push the block down. Relax the shoulders. Turn yourself around. All right, block in front of you. Smash it. Open your toes a little bit, so now you're coming down to a yogi squat or a malasana if you do yoga. Down into the heels. Release one hand. So my left hand swinging back, and then my right arm in block. Push up, come back, switch. Right hand swings back, block over shoulder, push up, crab reach. Grip into the mat with all 10 fingers, or five, and then drive up. Again, lower down, let go, swing back. You can bend, 
Maybe you even balance it. Open your palms. See if you can balance. Push up. Oh, fall in, grip it. <laughs> and then come on down. Push off the hand. Switch hands. Can you balance? Swim back. Palm open. Pull it in. Press it up. Hips up. Push it up to the sky. Squeeze the glutes. Hamstrings. Open the hip flexors. Quads. Come in. Drive it up. One more. Into those legs. Lower down. All right. Try to balance. Swim the left hand back. Flip, internal rotation of the shoulder, hips up, palm flat, up, 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 slow, lower, switch, right hand swims back, palm open, take the fingers outward as you lift the hips, push the palm up to the sky, grip the mat with the fingers that are down, fingers that are up are open, Come in, and then have a seat. Okay, how you feeling? Hard stuff, a lot of brain stuff going on too. Shake out those legs a little bit. Give them a little massage. Circle the wrists both ways. All right, we'll come back to some plank and all four work. But right now, since we're in a nice seated position, let's do our Pilates roll. I am dripping sweat. Whew. If you need your block. Again, like you are smashing it, or you could grip onto it if you're working on finger stretch for rock climbing. Either way, firm the quads, firm the belly, stack the shoulders over the hips, then hollow out, round the spine like you're doing cat back, and then with all the control you can muster, vertebrae by vertebrae, lands, shoulders, head. Keep the ribs pulled in, and then pull the arms over the head, and then lat pull down, squeeze up. So arms over, ribs down, close them up, and up. Over without flaring into an arched back. One more time, scoop it up. You're in a pelvic tilt, hips towards ribs, sacrum grounds. Tuck the chin forward, follow your block with your eyes, and then imagine someone's helping you by pulling the block up, stack, now pull the elbows in and out. Four, three, two, one. Hold the elbows in. Forward fold, belly to block. Belly to block. Hip hinge. Four, three. Use your core and backside. Two, exhale up. One. Push the palms out. Round the spine, hollow out. The heels will drag back, but we'll control the landing for three, two, shoulders, head, one. Ribs pull in, pelvic tilt, drop, squeeze up. Over without flaring the ribs out. Two, nice shoulder stretch. One, drive it in, tuck your chin, look towards the block. Peel up, quads are active. Now elbows row, four, row in, right behind the sides of the back. Two, one, hold it in. Press your belly, compress into the block. Four, compress, three, exhale, two, and one. Take your block into one hand. So on my right hand has the block, my left knee is going to bend. I'm going to slowly curl down, land my forearm, slow roll down, head down. Now you can use the arm as much as you need to. Press into that left forearm, press into the hand, drive up. So you're almost creating this circle, half circle, lower, down, down, down. Exhale, tuck the chin, press into the forearm, then into the hand, drive up. Lower down, forearm, melt the spine, land, tuck the chin, forearm, pop into the hand, press the shoulder down. <sighs> nice work. Switch hands, 
switch legs. Left hand elevates the shoulder. My right knee bends, right hand reaches out. Lower to the forearm, roll down the spine, lower down the back. Exhale, tuck the chin, press into the forearm, lean a little bit, and then press into the hand to straighten out. Forearm, roll down spine, inhale. Exhale, forearm, elbow pushes down, and then palm pushes down, and then shoulder depresses. Shoulder, forearm, roll down. Exhale, maybe you can balance the block the whole time. Elbow, push into the palm, and lift up to straight spine. Go ahead and lower that down. How are those shoulders, wrists, swing them out. Nice work. We're gonna take the block in between our knees and do some little jackknives. So, fingertips forward or to the side, whatever's more comfortable. Bend the elbows, but shine the heart through. And then first, we're just gonna lift and lower. Touch the block to your chest if you can. Up, tap down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now in and out, maybe the low back lands, maybe the elbows land. Four, three, two, and one. Add it inner thighs to your right. Sweep the hands out, low boat rock. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Exhale, three, two, one. Rock yourself to balance. Half boat. Palms back. Now swoosh the knees. Drive them up. Your can-can. Drop the knees. Squeeze them up. Hip flexors are feeling it, I know. If you need a break, as always, you can take one. Dip down. Squeeze up. Dip, hip stack. Drive up. Hip stack. Drive up. Let the block fall. And then wash those knees from side to side. Little hip mobility, release through hip flexors, up and over, up and over. Come back through center. You could take your thumbs in your hip crease. Give your hip flexor a little massage here. All right, I'm gonna do one more layer, holding the block in your feet. So hopefully your hip flexors can hang for one more strong exercise. So we'll go down to a pike up. Here's four, three, two, one. Now straight leg stack, rainbow up and over. That was four. All right, here's three. Side to side is one. Here's two, stack. Try and make a 45 degree angle with the hips. Last one, rainbow the legs over. Rainbow the legs over <laughs> and the walk and <laughs> take a little massage. Rock side to side with the thumbs deep into your hip flexor, right where your hip crease folds. Good. All right. Any tension in the neck? Shake and circle. And we're gonna work our way to our backside. So we'll continue with those leg drops and we'll rest our head for one. Take your block into your knees. Take the palms out to a T, grip into the floor, shoulders down, ribs in, and then we'll drop the legs and squeeze them up slowly. Drop the knees, try to keep the knees over the hips, not creeping into the chest, slowly lift. Down, two, three, up, two, three. Down, two, three, and lift up two, three. Okay, that was the modification. Let's make it a little harder. Elevate the block, straighten the legs. Take the legs over, three, two, one. More weight to lift, up, three, two, one. Try not to block, drop the block on yourself, lower. Squeeze up, firm the quads, firm the belly. Two more, down, shoulders press down, squeeze. <sighs> Exhale up. And one, as low as you can, stack the hips, and then push, exhale, squeeze up. 
All right, we have our block pass. We're gonna scoop the block in our hands, open to low boat, scoop the block into the feet, open to low boat. Four, three, two, hang in there, and one. Keep the block in the feet, rock, and balance. All right, see if you can keep it in the feet. Roll, balance. Rolling like a ball. Roll, balance. Maybe you straighten and make it really hard. <laughs> Teaser style, straighten. Round the spine, lift up. Roll on the spine, lift up. All right, stay on your back. Those legs are gonna press over the head. Maybe the block lands. Please be mindful, do not move the neck around here. As slow as you can, lower down. Triceps, core, three, two, one. Optional drop, leg drop at the bottom. <sighs> two more like that. Peel the spine off by pressing into the hands. Don't move the neck around here. Firm the quads, firm the belly. You can play with a stretch if it feels good. And then slow lower. Three, use your hands. Two, one, optional leg drop, sacrum grounds. Last one, ooh, triceps burning. Press the hands down, peel off the spine. Maybe stack the hips over the shoulders. Good. Take a breath and then slow lower for three. Firm the legs. Two, use the core. One, leg drops. All right. Hmm. Option to come back to your reverse curl plow. Support the back here. And then we'll bend the knees into a tuck and try to straighten. Reverse crunch three. Only if this feels safe on the neck. You can always skip it and just drop and lift the legs. Two, and lower, and lift, stack, one. Slowly drop the hands, straighten the legs, and take a soft landing. All right, take the block out for a moment. I'm gonna turn, because the sun is in my eyes. Anything you need to do, or on our back, maybe you take a sip of water, all right? Now we're gonna work some balance with the block up on your leg. So place it on your left foot. Bring the right knee to tabletop. Press the hands down, ground the shoulders down, ground the head. Tuck the knee, shift it straight. Make an L, ground the low back in. Four, tight, challenge your edges. Can you get your knee to your chest? Can you hover the leg low? Three. Make it hard, Woo. try not to drop this one swelling. If it falls, it's no big deal. Two, one, tuck, and press away. Now straight, leg lifts and lower. Four, a lot of stabilization, a lot of control. Three, you can point and flex, whatever you like to do. Inhale. And exhale. Now leg circles outside, getting harder. And inside, as big as you can. Around the outside. And then down. My legs are shaking. And in. All right, now we're going to crunch the upper body up and drop four, three, Two, last thing we're gonna do is add a twist. See if you can still maintain the block. Four, three, ah, uh, getting hard. Two, hold this one up, hold this one. Stretch the arm outside, both palms clasp. Fight for it, lift off the shoulder. Hold it up a little higher, isometric hold. Four, three, two, one. How'd you do? Ah, swing those knees from side to side. Deep breath in and out. All right. Balance the block on your right foot. I'm already dropping it. And I have to remember what I did. Starting with the bent knee, tuck. 
and expand. Low back rounds. Tight tuck, compress. Thighs to chest. Push away. Two, kind of a brain teaser, a lot going on. And one. And now we have straight leg. I'm gonna drop the block. Four, you can go beyond the L shape if you have the mobility. Three. And two. One, now our leg circles. I don't have a lot of room, this window. But you're gonna sweep outside circle as big as you can. And then the other way, down, out, and around. As big as you can, two more. Outside circle, big. Down, inside, circle, back. Hold it up. All right, add your upper body lift. Now leg drops, four, three. Shoulder blades off the mat. Strong, active legs, two. My legs are shaking. Can't believe the block hasn't moved. Now, bend the knee, twist, four, three, two, one. Hold that connection. Take your elbow across. Bind your hands, release, lift up a little higher. Fight for it, four, three, two. Come up another inch, one, chest on time. And wash those knees from side to side. That was hard. Circle the knees in one direction. Circle the knees the other direction. Let's take a spinal twist. A lot of activation so you don't drop that block. Big breath in and out. Other side. Big breath in and out. All right, quick little bridge series. We'll elevate the right foot and hug it in pretty close to the hamstring so you are really firing into the back of the leg right away. Left leg lifts, peel the hips up to bridge, lower down like a string of pearls. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, peel and hold. Pulse, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold it up on one. Cross the ankle, pigeon or figure four. Let the hip drop, uh, the knee drop, the hips lift. Get a nice hip opener. And then thread the leg underneath and let the knee touch the ground. And then scoop it up, bent knees, lift four, three, two, one. Lower down, stretch the right hamstring. Whew, circle the wrist, uh, wrist the ankle, press your hands into the hamstring and the hamstring back into the hand for some active isolated stretching. Whew, half, half happy baby, maybe a little straddle and bend, whatever feels good for you. And we'll do the other side, shift your block over. Your left foot is on it and it's quite bent, so you, have, you feel the hamstring right away, activate. Right leg up, peel, pelvic tilt, peel the hips up, lower the hips down. Three, high as you can, slow, lower. Exhale, two, slow, lower. Push it up on one, pulse it, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Cross the ankle, let the knee peel out, flex the foot, drive the hips up. Nice stretch here, relax the neck and shoulders, hands. Now thread the leg under, maybe the knee lands, external, external rotation on the hip, squeeze the glutes upward, heart puffs up. Three, two, one. Now drive the knee in, four, Three, two, one, whoo, land. Feet to the ground, again, wash the knees from side to side. Nice work, stretch the arms over the head and the legs long, making a nice eye stretch. Let the belly relax and soften, cactus the elbows. 
Nice work. We're gonna tuck the chin and then just rock yourself on up. All right, we have some side body work, some tabletop work and back to finish. I'm gonna take a peek at the time. All right, we'll do about 10 minutes or so more. All right, so come onto your knees into a kneeling position and we'll grab our block. We're gonna do some side body, side bend, drag up, all right? Let's take the other hand behind the head and drop. So if that feels easy, let's make it harder and try to land the flat part, the smallest setting of the block, drive up. Side body bend, we did this standing in the beginning, drive it up. Side body bend, challenge your depth of your stretch and then drive it up. All right, now hip hinge. Down, smash the block, thrust. Looks like this from the side. Down, thrust. Four, three, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. Two, and one. Nice work. This time, take the block behind you, and we're gonna balance, squeeze the triceps. Lower down, touch your forehead down. Drive it up, four. Slow lower so you don't fall on your head. Feel the core fire there. Two, arms can go all the way towards the sky, maybe a tiny bit of weight in the head, and then drive it up. Last one, slow landing, little rabbit stretch. Shoulders up, drive. So again, the flat setting if you can, Still reach over, touch the ground, drive up. Hand behind head, side body stretch. I want to challenge that edge of your side stretch. Maybe the weight, the block can go flat as long as we're still in our lateral range of motion and we're not kind of dropping to make it happen. So there's different settings. Maybe this one, middle section setting feels better. One more. Down, drop the head, drive it up. All right, this time push the block forward. We'll sit and we'll hover a pelvic tilt. Eight, seven, don't let your uh, butt hit your heels. <sighs> Quads, hips, core, four, three, looks easy, it's not, two, one, drive back up. Now, Reach back, tap, switch. Reach back, tap down. If that felt easy, change the setting to the mid-level. Reach back. Oh. <laughs> Oops, and then if that was easy, try no block. Tap down, charge up. You'll feel those quads burning. Tap down, charge up. All right, and now just for the stretch of it, reach the block by the outside of the foot, and then think of a camel stretch. Open the heart, open the shoulder. Switch, outside of the foot, hips forward, heart up. You can support the neck. You can drop the head back. And lift it up. All right, keep your block again handy, but we're gonna add some upper body, uh, side plank work, little series coming up. <laughs> All right, come back through your push-up position, walk your knees back, cross your ankles, elbows hit ribs, push-ups, four, three, two, elbows hit ribs, keep a straight spine, one, untuck. Tuck the toes under, scoop up to your plank. All right, remember in the beginning we did single arm planks, lift the right arm, swivel open. Now, instead of landing the hips, we're gonna take a plie, we'll land the bottom, but drive it up. Think of like a squat, the knees separate, hand to knee, push up. Knees separate, make a diamond, 
and then drive it up. Three, split the knees, push the shoulder down. One more, hold it here. I'm gonna have you drop back down on this last one and then lift this inside leg into an abduction move. So the inner thigh raises the leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That felt easy. The next set is elevated. Up, down, up, down. You're gonna feel the inner thighs. Four, three, both of them. Two, one. Come back, down dog rest. Whew. All right, for your down dog, we're gonna swivel the hips to upward facing dog. So round the spine, swivel the hips down, open the chest, and then tuck the chin, round back. Spinal roll, roll forward, tidal wave comes, hip slam, heart shines. Round back. One more time, roll forward and roll back on the next set. We'll try that with a single leg. All right, come back to your plank. Left hand lifts. Spin to side plank. <sighs> Take a moment. Land the hips as you bend the knees. <sighs> Straighten. Bend the knees. Straighten, make a diamond. Land the right hip. Push away, make a rainbow. Diamond, rainbow. Three, two, one. Hold it up, hold it down. All right, so remember my bottom knee is gonna elevate in front. Eight, seven, Six, keep the shin parallel to the mat, lifting up and down. Four, three, two, one, easier set. Now lift the hips and do the same thing. Eight, seven, as big a range as you can. Six, five, if your sh shoulder or wrist is feeling it, you can drop down to the forearm. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> Unwind. Down dog. Shake out that shoulder and wrist. Other one. All right. So, shake out. Stack the right foot across the back of the left heel. Spinal wave. Roll down. Hips up. Hips forward. Chest through. And back. Roll. Now, swing the hips to the left. Center and down. Roll. Swing those hips and back. Roll back. Switch left ankle over, left foot over right ankle. Roll down, spinal wave. Roll up. So think of cat, cow, cat, cow. This time I'm adding a slight shift to the right. Hips. Roll, square, oh, square, and back. Do it again. Round, hip swivel, come back, roll. All right, bring the knees down. Flip the palms over. Rock a little bit on the back, on the back of the hands. All right, there's two more things I wanna do here. So we're gonna lay on our belly with your block over the head. Come down to the belly and extend. Drop the forehead. Grip the block. Everything lifts. Four. Three. Full body locust. Back strength. Two. One. Hold. Bring the block behind the back. Switch hands. Reach it out. Switch. Back. And two more circles, right hand to left hand, out in front, left hand to right hand, out in front, 
drop the hands on the block, swim the legs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop, drop the block, drop the top of the head, roll the head, one big breath, hands to heart center, tuck your toes, big push up, come down to the knees, child's pose. Swivel the hips from side to side. So sweaty. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out, whatever you're doing. <sighs> Last thing we're gonna do is bring the block in the heel and the hamstring. All right? Push the shoulders down, squeeze the belly. If your wrists are really feeling it, we can drop down to the forearms. Find the hand. Lift, lower eight. Seven, six, five, four, pull the belly in, three, this is your last series, two, and one, now, fire hydrant, eight, control, seven, six, smile, this is the end, five, four, three, two, one, if you went down to the um, elbows, come back to the hands, lift, straighten out, kick up a little higher, and then slowly release. Switch sides. Heel, and like high up the hamstring towards the glutes. Feel free to stay on the hands or lower to forearms. Try to find a spot where that block's not gonna move. Eight, your range of motion. Seven, keep the ribs pulled in, the belly plugged up. Six, neutral neck and spine. Five, this is it. Four, three, nothing's moving but that leg. Two, one. Now, abd up to the side. If you need to adjust it, go for it. Eight. Seven, knee lifts high. Six, shoulders pressing down. Four, oh, five, four, <laughs> three, two, slow, one. Walk onto the hands, kick the leg up high. Long neck and spine, kick up a little higher. Squeeze the block into the glute. Lift and release. Let the block go. Take a child's pose. Swivel the hips. Walk the hands to one side of your mat. Shift the energy away. Walk your hips over, your hands over, across or off the mat. Hips in opposition. Side body stretch. Releasing through the hips and hip flexors and glutes. Glute on the side, good. Come back up. Cat cow. Round and arch. And then circle. Round, arch, circle the other way. Cat, cow, barrel circle. Cat, cow, barrel circle. Down dog. Paddle. Sway. Walk your feet and hands towards each other. Grab your opposite elbow. Dangle. Just hang. Deep breath in and out. Start to engage the quads, lift the tailbone, let the head get a little heavier. Press into the toes into the heels, let the head, hands fall. You can shake the head, nod it, rock it like a pendulum, and then ragdoll yourself up. Big breath to sky, palms to heart center. Widen your stance, swoosh to the right, and other way. And to the top, take your bow, two, 
one. Thank you, YouTubers, for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Bye.